Yeah. If he was still it. seeing Olivia, you would still be slating him. No, I wouldn't. I wasn't slating oh, him. I said he's a bitch. What he did to me, but I don't want him to be sad. But how was I? And you're doing a sh job. Me, me, Mr. PR. You are an insecure fucking snake. There's a storm brewing with Tristan and I. And I think I've been pandering to Tristan's needs for a while now. And at the dinner table, when he turned around to me and said, I want Temps to be happy, I sat there and I honestly couldn't believe that that bloke two days ago was saying how much he fucking hated you. Mm. And then he, in that moment, because he can't be deemed as a bad bloke and he's just this PR move the whole time, he can't ever be seen in a bad light. I, I don't think Tristan's ever said sorry to me. He's just never wrong, yeah. he'll never apologise. Everything that he says is right. Listen, we all make mistakes, and I think we should own them. I, I'm king of making mistakes, and hopefully I learn from them. But in Tristan's life, when he makes a mistake, he can't admit it, he can't own it, and I just think it's been weak. I'll tell you what wasn't friendly on the launch. Sam had a few things to say about you. Uh, you be, are being serious? From off the back of the dinner party, he was just saying he found it really weird that you were defending temps when really the only reason Sam had an issue with temps is because you basically said to Sam, we, we hate temps. Like, I didn't say that. Um, never. So he was like, yeah. So then he went a bit immature and started saying, "Are you joking?" <laughs> and said, "You're this biggest snake in the grass." Are you being serious? Yeah. He uh, said all this stuff. Yeah. Temps was against you. Oh, he, David was there as he, well, was yeah. he? So Sam and David were having a conversation about me. Yeah. So they made up at the beginning of it. Oh, they made up. Did and they? then so they the kind of turned to like Tristan's Mate. like, "Boo, Tristan." You're only annoyed at the situation because he was making Liv cry. I wouldn't want to see Ruby. This cry. is what I'm. Saying, right? So when I see the girl who I've loved for three years crying at the end of the table, and that f jumps up little f Sam is the one antagonizing the situation when he's put this whole dinner together saying, oh, let's bring everyone together. And he's just poking the bear, like the immature little brat that he is. I'm gonna stand up and say something. I've never once said to Sam, be a d to David because he's getting with Liv. I don't need Sam Prince to fight my battles. Three months ago, he was shagging the girl I started liking, and he f me over in business. I would not be in business with him. At what point are you gonna stop getting mugged off by this guy? He is the epitome of a wet wipe. He's got an absolutely no backbone. I cannot do this anymore. I don't want a kid like that in my life. Perfect. Hey, Tarzan. Chelsea's biggest fing side man's arrived. How are you guys? Um, yeah, good. good. Excellent. We're great. Okay. How are you? You guys are so happy. Yeah, you should try it out. It's lovely. Is it? It's a nice thing. You mm. look well, bro. This is cute. I think it's nice that you guys are friends, but you are just really like embarrassing. Good he is a good bloke, bloke. yeah. Oh, he is you a good bloke. Aren't. Oh, he is a good bloke. So the whole the whole problem oh, okay. you've got with me is because I because you're not David honest. Was, David was you're crying. You're not an honest boy. I am. David was crying, and I said, "Leave these two alone." And that's that's your issue with me. So now you're calling me a snake, calling me a fraud. The fact that you're jumping on bar with this is just blows my mind. Can you take huh? my word? He had no, your I, back I when you left the dinner table. You said you coming want... from this. Snake, you're going to believe him over me. Bro, I heard you say at the dinner table, you said, I want David and live to be happy. Yeah. You didn't say to be happy No, at all. I didn't. I spoke to you when we had a... Shut the f*** up. Uh -huh. When we had a conversation I love um, it at the bar. He's fantastic. And I said, I want you to be happy, but I hate the fact that it's with Liv. When you first told me, did I not say you that? You don't want me to be happy. I do want you to be happy. I want nothing more than you to be happy. You're not part of my life anymore, but I still don't want this f***ing idiot to be making your life any worse. You're crying at the table. The only time you've acknowledged me is when Liv and I didn't work out. What other interaction are we going to have before that? But you're happy with Lauren. Why do you care? You have said you want him to be unhappy. No, I haven't. You have you said that. Just Own it. Own it. Own it. No, Own it. I won't. It, I don't want guy. this to be unhappy. I've said it to his face five times. If he was still seeing Olivia, you would still be slating him. No, I wouldn't. I wasn't slating oh, him. I said he's a because of what he did to me, but I don't want him to be PR. sad. But how, Mr. PR. how was I? And you're doing a sh job. Me, me, Mr. PR. The most embarrassing little I'm I've met just in my honest. Life. I own my. You're shit. honest, Sam. What can Nothing you own? about you is honest. You are an insecure yeah. snake who loves no one but himself. I put you in two companies and you look at you. Me, now. You can't even carry your own, so you have to bring someone to the work. And I'm so glad. And what work have you done? A lot more than well, you I'm have. I'm so Sam. busy, guys. I'm so busy to this. Sam, week. you don't do anything. You are. So, you're, you're, you're embarrassing. What have you done for Bella in two years? I've, a lot more than you. Done. Half of the revenue this year has come from me. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. I you're built Bella. I employed well, you. Well, then good luck. And you failed. Enjoy it. I want all to do with you. Can I ask you one thing? Are you honest? Yes, honest. I am honest. Have you told Lauren you went for dinner with Liv? Yes, I have told Lauren I went for dinner the other night with Liv. Oh, really? Yes. Well, have I told you about that? Yes. You're f***ing embarrassed now, aren't you? You jumped up, little f I'm not. You busy little f I'm not. Dipping your oar in with Yaz, like little sniffer dog. I'm Just... being honest. Being you, honest. Have, you haven't done what f*** this means. I've like... had no one I have conversation. At least oh, I'm honest. Oh, this guy's showing you Honest. This guy's showing you oh, you the are, most interesting thing you you've are done. Such a little 